St. James and Prince of Peace Parishes began looking at their facilities needs several years ago in anticipation of expansion and renovation. In 2008, the Catholic Community of Kearney Capital Campaign was initiated to address these concerns. The St. James Building, dedicated in 1980, needs upgrades to its systems and the interior design of the worship is in need of renovation. Before embarking on a renovation, the parish council and pastor sought guidance from a liturgical consultant so that ideas for renovation would be consistent with Catholic theology. The beauty and architectural style of St. James was desired to be maintained and enhanced in ways that improved our parish community and our lives as Catholics. The process began with study and examination of church documents, including Built of Living Stones, and with tutorials from Father Frank Cody, our liturgical consultant. We then gathered the parish for a day of reflection in December 2013 to outline what the facilities improvement planning team had learned, obtain input, and hear an assessment and initial recommendation from Randy Milbreth an architect with RDG Planning and Design. The planning team developed four subcommittees for intensive study and discussion on four key parish areas. Worship and Liturgy. Second, Education and Formation. Third, Parish Life. And fourth, Administration. The committees were tasked with looking at facility space needs and desires for their goals for these areas now and decades into the future. RDG listened to the subcommittee's feedback and showed on this drawing how those four area spaces are currently configured here at St. James. They developed a spreadsheet detailing the square footage recommended by each subcommittee. This is a simple breakdown of our current church space usage. Social is in pink, worship in purple, office or administration is in orange, and the education formation space is in blue. Here, the red lines show the existing church walls in the additions coded with the four key areas shaded. Part of the initial ideas include the covering of the existing courtyard to create a gathering or welcoming area and to maximize the use of the courtyard space. You see that here in purple in the south entry to the church. Here's a closer look at the use of the current courtyard space, which also would be used to add and reconfigure a social area in pink and add reception, meeting, and office spaces in orange. Here are before and after images, including an artist's rendering of what the new enclosed courtyard would look like with the new entrance. This is an artist's rendering of the interior of the gathering space. The doors to your left would be designed to open fully into additional gathering space if needed. Liturgically, the gathering space begins your transition to worship. The new design also allows a sight line from the entry doors all the way to the altar. This shows detail of the proposed triple doors to the sanctuary and some new areas to your right. New restrooms with better accessibility, a new room with glass looking into the sanctuary is a place for mothers to nurse their babies or for brides and families to dress and prepare for celebrations or funerals. A newly configured reconciliation chapel will provide easier access for mobility restricted parishioners. Here are before and after images of the new sanctuary entry. Glass doors and windows will allow for overflow or for tending fussy children outside of the sanctuary while still allowing participation.
In these drawings, the altar has been centered and the ambo given a larger centralized presence. An ADA ramp is added to your right to give easier access to the altar for mobility restricted parishioners. The choir has been moved to your left and given more space to be part of the worshiping community and access to a music room to practice and prepare for mass. The music area on the right has been changed into a tabernacle and votive area. These next few images are what the altar would look like with various color and texture schemes with and without projection. In these drawings, the baptismal font is larger and located inside the entrance to the sanctuary so worshipers can bless themselves with the baptismal water when they enter Mass. In July 2014, the Parish Council and Finance Committee heard the Facilities Improvement Planning Team recommendation which Father Hannipal presented. A consensus was reached that Father Joe recommend to the Bishop that St. James be granted permission to move forward with Phase 1 of the Master Plan developed by RDG. This will require a capital campaign to add to the existing $1 million in parish renovation funds, up to $2 million in additional funds for the outline recommended projects. With the development of architectural plans and proceeding with the capital campaign, our construction would likely begin in the spring of 2015. These are some sources for further reading. Your prayers and support will be greatly appreciated.